women's bantamweight matchup between Chris Seibel and Ketlin Vieta. Well, she's one of the more high-level wrestlers in this division, DC. She's got a lot of different throws and takedowns and trips in her arsenal and figures to be able to put those to good use here tonight. And she's going to have to, right? And as you mentioned, throws, John. It is unbelievable to watch her highlight reel of lateral drops, the way she double-legs people and carries them across the octagon to the big slams, to the transition. Not only is she trying to secure takedowns, she allows opponents to get back to their feet so that she can get another takedown. It's all about tearing the gas tank of the opponent down. She's done that since she was a little girl, and now she uses that same approach in her UFC career. And I'd hate to call her a specialist because I think that sells her short, but her wrestling is certainly special and would appear to be the path of least resistance in this matchup tonight. All right, here's one of the best to ever do it. Chris Cyborg, the former UFC Women's Featherweight Champion, and her focus is entirely on getting that belt back. Tonight figures to be another step in that direction. I've never seen anyone more dominant, regardless of men, women. Chris Cyborg had an ability to make people just quit. The power, the aggressiveness, the ability to get in your face, make you work and make you uncomfortable is second to none. She is such a dominant physical presence that most people are beaten before they even step in the octagon. She finally stepped into the octagon for the first time in 2016, won five consecutive fights, including the world title before running into Amanda Nunes. Chris Cyborg, though, back tonight and a picture of focus in advance of this one. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC Phantom Weight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a wrestler holding a professional record of 13 wins, three losses. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Minos, Arizona, Brazil, Catlin, Venomino, Vieira! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a Muay Thai fighter holding a professional record of 22 wins, two losses, and one no contest. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Huntington Beach, California, USA. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? So here we go with round one. She is a striker. Her counterpart is a grappler. And I know as much as the grappler tends to fall in love with the hands of late, you got to think she's going to try to get this fight to the ground. If she falls in love with the hands too much, she will end up laying flat on her back, looking up at the light. She has to get this match to the floor as fast as she can. If she does not, if she tries to stand, if she tries to get cute, she will get her clock run and she will get knocked out. All right, so now she engages in the tie clinch, and of course, if you're fighting hands as the opponent, you leave everything else wide open. You leave everything open, and she will... Huge elbow there. She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish this fight. Oh, big left hook there. Back and forth we go. Now goes in and secures the takedown. The eight is back in half goal. Trying to get that arm underneath the chin. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Oh man, that was slick. In full guard now, DC, and I know when you're in this position, you're looking to pass the half guard pretty quick. Oh, absolutely. Trying to get the half guard so I can start to get off ground and pound. This is exactly what she needs to do. Not only does it get you to a position to get off ground and pound, it also takes a lot of the danger away right. from your opponent off of their back. Half guard is not nearly as dangerous as full guard, so get the half 
land some ground and pound, get posture, and then continue to dominate on the ground. So 28 total strikes have landed for the Brazilian Captain VA. Wow. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Damaging punch lands for her there. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, the right hand is there for her. Another shot here. And that left hook landed on the button. So again, they will clinch here. Oh! You can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown dude? Good punch, Lance. Final seconds of round one. Consistently finding a home for that left punch. All right, so a huge moment for her in that previous round, DC, as we show you some of the highlights. The knockdown nearly closed the show for her. Yeah, and that's what we're gonna focus on. We're gonna focus on the knockdown because it looked like the fight was over. Now, is her opponent tough? Yes, but is her opponent smart enough to make the necessary adjustment as this fight goes forward? You ready? You ready? Second round here. Ah, she's unable to connect with the left hook. Lands flush with that right hand. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. It's such a fast leg kick. Cyborg's uppercut to the head. That one, though, blocked by the defense. That's a big strike right there. Takedown defense holds up. And there comes the separation now. Oh. <laughs> Vieta gets the tie clinch here. Nice oh. leg kick land. Vieta gets the tie clinch here. All right, so there it is again. Another sprawl, beautiful takedown defense. Everybody in this division is going to be trying to take her down, but tonight, unable to do so. When you're as good of a striker as she is, people are going to want to wrestle you. She has really done a good job of rounding out her takedown defense, using it to sprawl and brawl and get back to her feet. Vieta gets in the clinch yet again. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Right back in the clip. Nice takedown defense there. Promptly scrambles back to her feet. Well done. Ooh, what a punch. Vieta's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Not there. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Look at how she drives her knee right into her opponent's midsection. Elbow there by Cyborg. Big and kick. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. She gets to herself. Oh! She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish this fight. That was a jab. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. 
All right, let's take a look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC Chief among it. The big knockdown courtesy of that punch. A big knockdown off of that punch. She was flowing, letting everything go, and then she sat down on that strike that put her opponent down. It looked like the fight was over, but we do go forward. continues to land a high volume of strikes here, really just like she did in the previous round, and she does not seem to be slowing down at all. Effective strike there by Cyborg. Great tempo to her striking game tonight. She is staying busy and a nice series of punches again there. She's in a great flow. Wow! You can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Oh! job at least double leg shot oh how about the slam there that one cannot feel good the eight is looking for that arm triangle watch triangle watch triangle oh we're getting to finish here nicely done well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Cyborg. Oh, nice strike on the ground for him. Pretty significant well to the left side. Cyborg gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. All right, so let us see who has enough left to... Oh! She found a little crack in the defense and found a home for that strike. Landed flush, and that is another one for the highlight reel, but few prettier than that one as she gets the big knockout win here tonight. And there she is after the huge knockout here tonight. What a moment for this fighter. You can't help but feel good for her here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 15 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by knockout, Christiana Cyborg Justino! Well, there she is. This arena belongs to her here tonight. Hard-pressed to find a knockout in the women's game as stunning as that. I mean, she has so much confidence in her hand that she's willing to stand in front of her opponent and take one to give one. And when she gave one, it shut the opponent's lights out. Great job.